brand new Axis 25.7. I am Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. If you have been looking for a small Class A motorhome that can hold your kayaks, your canoes, your e-bikes, anything else you can think of, this is the one. So let's just start out back here because this is what makes this 25.7 unique. It makes it special. It makes it everything you need it to be for your your adventurous lifestyle. So here we are, massive storage back here. You have the screens right here, so this zips up so you can get a lot of great ventilation in here. And when you're outside, this is where you're gonna load all your goodies, right? And then we have a mat so it's not gonna scratch your floor. You have tie downs, you have the, the rings to tie them down to keep everything secure. You have 12 volt plug, 110. You have a cargo net up here with more USB-A charging ports. Say so you have the, the canoes or the, the paddles for the canoes, just go ahead and put them up here and bungee them in place. And you're thinking, okay, y'all, that's, that's great storage, but where am I gonna sleep? How about this? Look at this, bed folds right down into place. You still have room underneath for a cooler or whatever. Here you go, here's one sleeping area. You have a vent right up above, you have a privacy curtain, more USB charging ports over here, a couple of windows back here that open up with screens. So you have a great ventilation back here, a wonderful place to sleep, and we're not done yet. What are the other things you may be asking? Okay, so how is it gonna work since you have all this storage here and the bed folds down? That bathroom's gotta be cramped, right? No, it is not. Let's hit that up and show you, you can get right in here. You have a shower in the back, you have that porcelain toilet, you have sink, medicine cabinet, actually very roomy for a motorhome of this size. And this motorhome comes in, by the way, at 26 feet, nine inches, and your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 3,149 pounds. You can haul a lot of stuff and know that you have a great place to clean up after a day of adventuring. And where are you gonna store all that stuff? All your, all your fun gear? We got a couple of closets for you. How about this one? I'll trade you places here, Tom. I will open the closet. And what's wonderful about this, you have hanging space here, ladder for the drop-down overhead bunk. You have places to hold the legs for your pedestal tables. You have two of them, one up front and one at the sofa. One, two, three, four drawers over here. Whew. Other side, more storage. Use this as a pantry. You have adjustable shelves right here. Two more drawers. And leading into the kitchen, we have our double door freezer and fridge right here. Look at that, control the temp right up here. Lots of goodies in here. Right up above 15,000 BTU AC. Down below our fuse box, all your 12 volt and 110 fuses are in here and breakers. So if you ever pop a fuse, super easily accessible without putting out the slide. And as we get into our kitchen, this is, a, this is everything you need for trips on the road. A lot of storage down below, convection microwave, one, two, three more drawers, a lot of counter space up here. Two burner gas cooktop, you need your propane on to light that. Right over here, wireless charging, charge your phone there or set up a tablet, use it as an e-cookbook. Two 110s, USB-A, USB-C port large single bowl stainless steel sink. You have the pull down sprayer here to wash up in, put the cover in place. Now you have a lot more room in one, two, three, four cabinets right up above. Large living space in here as we turn to our seating. You have a sofa here. This is a tri-fold sofa, so this folds into a bed. So you have sleeping there, you have sleeping here, and again, sleeping in your drop down overhead bunk. Speakers underneath for the drive, 110 outlet. Nice lighting up above, makes a nice night light when you're out away in the wilderness and it's pitch black out there and the only light is from the stars. Well, maybe you want a little ambiance in here. You can turn that light on. More storage up above. Windows for ventilation and natural light. Wireless charging right over here. USB-A and USB-C ports in here in case 
your device does not support USB-A or uh, wireless charging, you do have the ports here. Again, this table stores into the closet that we just showed you, so you can make this into a bed. Flip up countertop extension. How could I miss that? So now, now look at all the room you have in this kitchen, even more counter space over here. Pedestal table captain's chair swivel so now you have a lot of seating for entertaining for guests for everybody on board nice drive in here just a quick spin through the dash ford v8 under the hood this is an e-series chassis heated remote mirrors fog lights your auxiliary start so you can take and pull power from your house batteries and jump start your chassis battery in an event that would die you left the lights on whatever it may be auto headlights Cruise control, some gauges over here for maintenance reminders, trip meters, so on and so forth. Love this button over here on the right side of the steering wheel. Controls the volume uh, and, and skips tracks and a lot of remote features for your infotainment center here. My favorite, though, is this little camera button because you can pull up your side view cameras because there are integrated mirrors, cameras in each side view mirror. You can pull this up by pressing this button at any time to see what is in that field of view hit the source button change sources on your radio android auto apple carplay sirius xm satellite radio download the rv specific navigation of your choice on your favorite device and you can connect to this still have hard buttons for the radio traction control nightshade start your generator from here cabin lights 12 volt ports right here so you can charge uh, you know plug in whatever it is you need and then down over here, we have the dash flip out workstation. Computer set up there right now. You do have an outlet down below. Flip that out, a place for your phone, get a little work done, connect to the internet. Easy to do because you have the WineGuard Connect 2.04G hotspot and Wi Fi extender on board. So you can purchase a data plan through WineGuard or through your favorite carrier. You insert the SIM card, and now your access, wherever you happen to be adventuring, has internet so you just got done with that trip you're like i gotta let everybody see my my head cam gopro footage of this you get in here and you post that and everyone's like oh how'd you do that oh, i got an access 25 7. let's talk a little tech rapid cam plus is right here i'll give you a quick rundown on this uh, from your home screen you can look check your tank levels turn on your lights check your climate turn on your water pump down below water pump uh, electric water heater gas well gas is always going to be your main source for your water heater here heated tank pads control your slides and your awnings from here and uh, your stab jacks control your climate from here and with the cloud when you connect your device your phone to the cloud as long as you have internet connection here which you just set up with WineGuard connecting your phone you can control your lights and climate from wherever which is great when you're out and you're staying out and you didn't remember to leave any lights on in here you can go ahead and turn it on so you're not coming home to a dark axis light more lighting controls you can dim just pull the slider look at that you can dim the lights to however you want control them all from here even in the cargo bay Next button down is for your generator. Check the volts in your battery, your propane tank. You can start your generator, stop your generator, and you can set your auto gen start. 4,000 watt gas generator on this axis. Last button down, control the fans. Hard buttons down here, control the lights real quick. You want to just turn them on. It's an Android tablet, so like your phone, it may take a few seconds to fire up. It's a quick way to do that, or you scroll through here. A is awning. Uh, and then you can just go through a jacks, you know, stab jack buttons, uh, slide. You can do that from here as well before the tablet turns up. On your entry step, 12-volt battery disconnect switch. Make sure that is on the entire time. And we'll take a quick spin around the outside. Here's the mirrors in the camera, by the way. Door, you're in our way. Uh, so you can go ahead and flip these cameras on at any point. Again, with that camera button, and they'll go on when you... Uh, turn on your directional beautiful exterior color on this we have the sterling hd max so this is going to be the same color fiberglass all the way through so in the event on your adventures and it happens if you're adventuring you may get a little nick or dent in here that's all right it's the same color all the way through easy to patch easy to repair not so easy to see moving down Storage here, nice, durable rotocast bays in this Axis 25.7. What's nice is because they are the rotocast material, 
You can take and throw all the wet gear in there. Maybe you just had a nice float down the river, throw your life jacket in there. There's a drain plug in there. All the water will drain out. It's not going to mildew. It's not going to mold. It's not going to get all stanky on you. A couple of 110 outlets right here. Make sure you're plugged into shore power or your generator is on to get those babies fired up. Propane is right there. You're going to need that on for hot water for your furnace and for the exterior propane connection. What happens to be right here so you're dry camping and you can cook out under the under the stars if you want to maybe a late night cookout hook up a grill hook up a fire pit whatever you need this is a regulated connection though so if you're not getting the flames you want make sure you adjust or take off the regulator on the device not on the motor home six gallon hot water heater that is what you have there uh, and you have the exhaust here for your furnace don't have my keys can't open that bay for you but that's all right i can open this one it's full of stuff it's full of an axis sign detachable 30 amp shore power cord which is great i love having the detach detachable cord you can store it in any bay you want and there is the drain for your fresh water tank so when you are done all you have to do is turn that lever and drain your fresh water tank you're going to fill it right here let me get out of the way so make sure you're using potable water for this and then you just take and you put your hose in there. See that vent that is right here? When the water trickles out right there, you know that you have filled up your 40 gallon fresh water tank. It's a 30 gallon black and a 41 gallon gray tank, by the way, on this axis. Nice awning, you have the lights integrated into the arms. So at night, especially again, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you have a real nice night light. Let's work around back real fast and then we'll hit the business end steel bumper back here ladder now remember this is not an entry and an exit it's for loading you have again the screen and then you just shut the door and you can lock it what i like about this is it has uh who's setting stuff there all right so you have a little just a little latch here to keep that open so the wind isn't going to blow it shut but we're going to go ahead and see just like that and then you have two locks on here but let's go ahead and open that up there's even a door stop back here as well over here 30 amp shore power cord connect your cable right here there is your uh, sewage your black tank and your gray tank that is has a light in there as well remember when you are draining your tanks pull your black pull your gray exterior shower to rinse off before you head in for the night city water connection tank flush and then we have a couple more uh there's your 4000 quiet gas generator in there a large storage bay right here which is great for the longer items like camping chairs and then uh, we have another bay right over here and back up front what's nice about the axis is just the large windshield that's your panoramic view to the world so the question is is where are you going to take this amazing new axis 25 7 and what are you going to load up and that wonderful large indoor storage. Think about it and learn more about it at ThorMotorCoach.com. All the information is there. Compare it with other Axis models. Choose the one that's right for your lifestyle and how you are going to use it. I appreciate you being here and walking through the Axis 25-7 with us. I am Steve DeVal, and we'll see you again real soon. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800 335 6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. 
So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motor Home Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?